Welcome to Seekers to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. I am back with another work of money for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and on the cusp. If you fit this description, please stick around. The forecast may pertain to you. However, if it doesn't fit, please acquit. With this being said, remember to give all this a thumbs and to check the description box on ways to reach out to me as well as how to make your purchase. I am now ready for you to sit back and prepare for your messages from source through me for your work and money week of September 20th until September 26th. I hope you enjoyed Scorpio and please stay awake. Hey Eagle Feathers, oh, welcome back to the temple for this week's work, money, and romantic guidance. You topped the charts this past week when it came to reviews or views i should say you topped the charts you did the damn thing scorpio thank you so much you showed out and i don't know maybe you'll keep doing that eagle feathers i see you arising from the ashes okay so let's go ahead and jump in because you know you get a double feature and you know how i like to get all into the details so we have for you this week eagle feathers your three word reference which is example state example state now i know that you all bought your pad and your pencil and your highlighter and you know even your bible and thank you new subscribers wow i woke up this morning to new subscribers i was like what okay so you know we on the roll here okay we 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 we, we are the um place in YouTube nation where I think this is one that's built on actual elevation and growth and um, I love the fact that I have some uniqueness and that you know we're doing some things together you know we are a group of family here at the temple right so keep it coming bring your friends your family we can really get <laughs> we can get ready to get Onto some real stuff, y'all. Okay, so example state certain and reaches your subtext. Certain reached is your subtext, and then you have question. And these have been before. Look like this has been or similar before. I don't know if you are another sign, but question built. Question built. And um, you know this is your placeholder. This is this is the middle of everything. You're starting to reach something, a conclusion, um, a certain number. I don't know. But when I was in meditation, I felt like your message could have dealt with two things: legality, like the law, or it's dealing with um, education. So you got two scriptures, um, eagle feathers for this week, and that is 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Write that down. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Actually, you have three. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Just put a 2, T-I-M dot 3, colon 16. And then you have John. J O H N John 7 and verse 51. John 7 and verse 51. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff um, read to you. 1 Timothy 2 and 15. There's no way I can have this stuff ready for y'all by the time I get on. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, what is going on? Okay, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Other people know it is study thyself, study thyself, study to show thyself approved. A workman need not be ashamed, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. 
So we got that one. And then we have 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is God breathed and is useful and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. The old version is all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Did you get that? And John 7 and 51. Does our law condemn a man without first hearing him to find out what he has been doing? Doth our law judge any man before it hears him and know what he doeth? There you go. Examples. So I looked at examples. So to me, this is like questions that's been built up, you know, um, and given some um, parables, maybe if you want to call that. When they say examples, some illustrations may be needed. You may need to state. I don't know if this is in a classroom or if this is in a, a court of law or some kind of legality. Because some decision or something is definitely going to be reached. A conclusion. Okay, a decision. Maybe even a number of people. I don't know, but you should know. Now, what you're working with this week in terms of your gemstone and your crystal is the garnet. And that's with the Page of Swords. And we know the Page of Swords is the one who's um, basically eyeing out for information, whether this is reporting, whether this is gathering for themselves, whether this is you are um, waiting for feedback. Okay? The garnet. Okay? We want to find out what that's all about. And that's acquainted with the Page of Swords, okay? Page of Swords. Okay, so the Garnet gives joy and vital energy, has a restorative effect, provides energy, and strengthens our courage. It shows us how we can develop love from the physical aspects to the area of the heart. Remember where the heart is up here, not that's your symbolic heart, okay? It promotes self-trust and strengthens our courage to face life. Sense of understanding, flexibility, encouraging activities, younger help, conflict, and aggression is the tarot interpretation, okay? The shadow aspect is presumption, power powerlessness, scandal, illness, unfavorable prospects. Okay, so that's what you got in terms of your gemstone this week. I don't know why I can set that up where you can look at it throughout your reading. Hopefully that will work. And since we are using the Deviant Moon for the premieres this time, as opposed to the other zodiacs, um, we're going to use some um, moon cards this week for you to go on. Okay, so externally... You will be working with the cow, the moon totem. Wow, the moon totem. You got a moon totem. I've never even seen this in this deck. So you got something new. We got this together. Can I tell you? We're going to be doing things together. A new beginning or even a new life may be blooming, Scorpio. And this is the cow, the mother of the zodiac, okay? The sustainer, the supplier. That's what's going on externally. Internally, you have, if I can get these cards up, the wolf. Wow. Okay. The wolf. And it says, beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control. Okay. So we got to have some um, self-control going on here. Okay. So, I don't know where I can put these for you all to see those um, for you to meditate on. Hopefully, you can get them here. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on into these cards. Oh, before we do that, since you are the lineup, 
Let's find out what you're working with in terms of the uh, planetary lineup externally and internally. And I got to hurry up because we're 10 minutes in, you know. You got Saturn, but he's up and he's got, you got the heart. You got the love. You got the cup. So Saturn may be in some good feelings this way. <laughs> and you have Jupiter as well. Um, you have the club. So this sounds like some exciting surprises, okay? But it's internal. You, maybe you're getting some, some answers because, you know, Jupiter is also about blessings, expansion. Maybe you'll be able to uncover some stuff that's really good. I don't know. Well, let's find out what these cards are saying this week. All right, I hope you're doing well, and I hope I can get everything in. If I don't, you know that's just how it rolls, and I've just decided that it's supposed to be that way. So if you don't get the peace and one love, if your video just happens to quit, it's the way it's supposed to be, okay? Overall energy, ten of wands, okay? And that is based on the ace of swords, okay? What can you expect, the knight of wands? Stemming from the Seven of Swords. How come it's the Six of Swords? Conflict and a challenge and your supportive energy will get to that. High Priestess is the underlying energy here. And it's about, be, it's about guard. Guarding your heart. That's in the Bible. To guard your heart. That's symbolic. Guard your heart. Scorpio, I don't know what's coming in and what's going out of it, but um, generally when we're having to guard our hearts, it's, it's emotional, people that we're close to, people that we like, you know what I'm saying, those people that get in, you know, um, this high priestess looks like she's been hurt already, you know, so I feel like this got a lot to do with love. Friends, family, lovers, wives, whatever, whatnot. All based on the truth. All based on something that can't be denied. Something that came to your mind. You put all the pieces together and you knew. You knew the truth. Some of this stuff may have had to have been intuited. Some intuitive truth. You, 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 you did not need the hard copies. Because one thing about source, when she gives it to you, you know it. You know it. And it's based on something that you know. Stemming from the seven of swords. Now, for some of you, this is having to eat your words. Some words or something that you had to swallow that was true. You may have not wanted to believe it, but you found out it was true. Okay? You may have even tried to see how you could get out of it. Or how something could still work in spite of it. I don't know. Or if something could work, period. You know, based on this truth. But some of you had to swallow this truth. I don't know if you didn't believe it. If you didn't want to accept it. But uh, it was there. You couldn't deny it. What's the reason, dear source? What's the reason... Now, I'm seeing clips and film pictures that you saw. This could have been online. This could have been your family album. I don't know. Because I don't know where this truth comes from. Did this truth come from your home? Did this truth come from school? Did this truth come from um, the court system? Did it come from online, these pictures, that album? Uh, did it come from a, a, a special investigator? That's the reason. Some pictures, some clips. You know, this would be the matter like when you be looking at TV and they be giving you <laughs> they be giving you the envelope and you be looking at the <laughs> different clips. Like there she was when she was like snapshots. You know. And for some of you, I'm hearing selfies. So selfies. I just heard that. Selfies. Okay. On the line of energy is the um, Curious Boy George or um, 
the one that's happy to see you. Like he looked like he's seen like somebody that's close to his heart. Like he likes them. Somebody like, hey, like that's her. Like there she is. Okay. <laughs> Overall energy this week or action is the ten of wands, and this is the happy burden. You know, picking up your cross. And following me, whatever me is, me following your heart, following what uh, Jah wants you to do. Okay? Jah, your Christ, whatever. These can be ideas that you have, that you're putting together, like a, like a combination of things, you know, maybe you're doing a combo package, I don't know. Whatever it is, it stemmed from something that you had to eat. You knew it was true. And you got the pictures to back it up. Now, what can you expect this week? You can expect the fly, the knight of wand. And that's to attack it, to go at it. You know what I'm saying? To beat it down, you know, whatever it, it takes to get going. Whatever it takes to get built, okay? You're going to be beating it down. You're going to be at it this week, okay? Anything that gets in your way, they better watch out. It's going to be like an attack. Like, people should already know where you're going to be at. Because you might not be really nice. You know, you might not have the nicest tone or the best energy right now because you are hard at work trying to establish your ideas, trying to build this thing, okay? I don't know what it is. I feel like it's, this could be building a home, but I feel like this is building sole proprietorship, building a business. You know, you can still be working your nine to five doing this. Yeah, some of y'all, this is a move I'm hearing. And you know how it is when you have to move. Yep. <laughs> Six of swords. Damn. I didn't realize that. Six of swords. You're getting your shit and you're getting out because the truth made the difference. You are moving on from a bad situation to rebuild or to build for yourself because of the truth, okay? What that truth is, I don't know. But the conflict here is two of staffs, okay? And that's the groundwork. How to get started, how you, how you wanna do it, you know? Where you wanna go with it, where you wanna be with it. Yeah. Where you want to lay your foundation, where you want to build is the conflict. Thus, for some of you, it could be the soil, okay, the ground, the foundation itself, the land could be an issue. Because maybe you want to grow on it and you can't. So maybe that's why you say you don't want the property. This could be about buying some property. If you said, I don't think I want to do this because I'm just going to hang me up. I'm going to get stuck. I'm going to get crucified in this situation. It's just going to be a waste of my time and my money because now I know. Because now I know what's going to help you is the three of swords, okay? Now, for some of you, this is just relaxing and taking care of yourself, breathing, okay? You know, managing yourself, you know. For some of you, this is your lover. This is the one whose heart was broken. Damn, that's messed up. But you know what? That has been the thing all summer. Maybe all year, if I'm not mistaken. But the, here, we're living these crash moments in life. If you've never seen that movie, you need to look at it. And how we're all connected. And how somebody who can do you wrong can come back and be your help. And it's that's like the test, you know. But that's that person. This is a heartache person, somebody whose heart been broken by you, Scorpio. That's who's going to help you. But for some of you, this is pressure and frustration. It will help you get things done. The pressure and frustration that you're feeling through this fly right here and having to move and all that stuff, that's going to help you get some stuff done, believe it or not. You'd be amazed at what you can get done when you're under pressure. Oh, didn't I say it? You're going to be under, you're building. 
You can come and build with me. Ah, uh, you can come and a place plain to play and plow. Okay, so maybe y'all gonna get together here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We can get to the extension. Maybe we can find out. Let's see what's going on in terms of your reflector for the hammer, dear source. We get something in for extension. The person, wow, that's amazing. The lover's card. Mm hmm. Scorpio, you can ready to be with your mate. It's coming out of some confusion, some betrayal, some heartbreak. But y'all get ready to work together. You can come and build with me, uh, and I'll see you at the extension. Oh, cool. We're good, Eagle Feathers. I didn't want to be too much longer because I know how my um, device, it seems like it'll just do the timing for me. And I don't want to give it the privilege of doing that. So I already got these laid out. And we're going to, before we start, we're going to go ahead and draw your number for the week which is six and venus rules six and venus deals with uh like love um with good well-being um marriage um you know like um nature um, you know substance being sustained children family Maybe that's what's going on. And it's also, for me, it's kind of like um, the day to complete everything. You know what I'm saying? The day to complete everything. And what you have here in terms of your extension is, you know, putting it out there, doing the damn thing. That's what's going on this week, doing the damn thing. You know, having that conversation building whatever it is that you're building, doing the damn thing. That's all you need to do. You, you've already practiced. You already know. You already have the skill. You already have the knowledge. You just need to put it out there and see what comes back. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. Like I say, it could be a conversation with the three of swords that we just saw before. The, um, um, the heartache. It's a person of heartache, okay? Um, and it's also, look here. Now, I love the Ten of Cups reverse because when, even when you look at this, you see that they are very close knitted. And that's what it's all about wanting to be close. Let's get closer. Closer. Yeah. Closer than close and closer than most. Let's get closer. Let's talk about getting closer. Let's talk about how we can have a family, how we can be. Have a close knit family, not just any family, but close knit. This is a conversation. This is an addition. This is community. This is family. Then I say that was what comes with Venus. You need to get this stuff done up. Y'all need, need to finish this up. Y'all need to get this together and finish it up. Why? Nine of Wands. Okay. Now, this is about preparing for a fight sometimes, preparing for war. You know, this is about defense, you know, protection, protecting your interests, protecting your home, protecting whatever that's dear to you, whatever concerns you. This is your protection. This is the guard, okay? And again, this could be about building a home, building a community, having a family, you know? Something like this shit. This looks like you can have your own little baby army. You know? That's what it looks like. With an outcome of the Prince of Swords. Now, that's gathering all the information. You know, being on the lookout. Maybe you're going to put it out there and see if you'll get a response. See if you'll get um, the information that you're seeking. Okay? Because this is being on the watch and waiting for it. Or you doing it yourself. Um... For some of you, this could be a child coming to you or a younger person with information. I don't know if it's about you, for you, another person. I don't know. But let's see what your totem is for this week. Yeah. You got to put it on out there, you know. You, can, you, can't, you can't get it. And the high priestess is here twice as if though she's giving you a revelation. Like, you know, you know what you got to do. 
evil feather. Oh, you have the gazelle this week. Oh, a gazelle. Let me see if I can find about a gazelle really quick. Um, because I do know that gazelles are very lovely and graceful. And you can look this up yourself. Um, that's one reason why I give it to you like that. Because you have to be a student. You have to learn to look for things on your own. I say they're graceful. Okay, a gazelle is graceful. And she represents uh, feminine beauty. Female beauty. That's Venus. Yeah, and they say it's from the Arabic a gazelle. A lyric love poem typically set to music. So it could also be a love poem set to music. It could be a ballad, a ballad. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to give this vid a thumbs up. And I can't wait to see you next week, Eagle Feathers. Take care of your mind. Be at peace. And one love.